Ignore them little dumbasses. They so stupid. <laughs> Thank y'all. I'm gonna get them. That's why I be going it out because you don't know who's who. That's the same person that was talking nice just yesterday. Now you're talking crazy. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? I just, I don't know. People just do too much. So, oh, this is another thing. Um, I want to give, uh, do a little thing too for people who have like kids or parents that's, you know, bed written. You know, because that's a lot of responsibility. Like, I'm not even going to lie. It's always on my mind to do it. I just haven't took the steps. Excuse me, the steps towards doing it. But I want to put in, a, like, a little lottery for people, to, you know, to tell me their story. Show me their family member. You know, maybe show a little bit of, you know, what they do. Not to the extent of showing it. But, like, you know, in the morning, I cook breakfast. I give them their meds. I give them a shower about 11, 10, whatever time they get up or whatever. Um, you know, they have a little activity. Meaning they might hold their arms up, massage their arms, hands, feet. You know, do whatever for their loved one. You know, I want to do a, a thing where that person get a whole day out. Where I can pay another family member that the person is you know knows so that you can go out for that day you know just get your mind relaxed for that day just go get your nails done go get a massage you know go to the spa basically um go for a nice ride take you and get you a nice Either dinner, depending on your whatever you do, your schedule is, dinner or lunch at a nice place where you just milling the fuck out and just like, oh, I got six hours, eight hours out, and you don't have nothing to worry about. Your people's is good, your people's is straight. You know, just a day. You know, you might can't get your nails done because you might have. A lot of work, you have to, a lot of handling, but whatever it is, you know, just tell, tell me what you want. And yeah, I'll take a day and get a big ass bowl, the person's name, the IG in front of y'all, of course, cut it, write their name, let you see the name, fold it, put it in, swish it around, swish it around, and like pick two or three people and just let them go. You know, I'll contact a limousine service in their city. You know, but they don't have to, to ride. No, bitch. Limo. Fuck, what's up? Yeah. Up to date shit. I know old ass. I'm talking about you got your little drinky drinking there, little champagne. Whether you drinking or not, it's on you. You know, just pop your bottle in that motherfucker. They ride you for about 30 minutes. Just let you unwind. No matter if you're in the country, if you're in New York, if you're in Dallas, if you're in Miami, if you're in D.C., I don't give a fuck. And just chill. You know, don't think about your kid or your mom or your dad. Just just chill. They, they safe. They good. The person, man, you know, take care of. So all they job, you know, to do a certain thing and or pay a nurse. However you feel comfortable. It might not be a family member or no motherfucker. Mind. Fuck them. Get a, get a nurse in them motherfucker. Hold him down. What's going to cost them to hold this person down? To for the day, the fuck, and it might be a little, you know, shit. Something, something, hey, do it like that, you know. You smoke a little joint, get you a little bag, a little twenty dollar bag. You can smoke your little joint. You ain't smoking a joint twenty years, but bitch, smoke a joint, roll that shit up, puff you a J. Wusa, sip your little champagne, just, oh, whatever you just, mm, it don't matter if it's a mother, the father, look, get me the fuck out of here for a day, that's what the fuck I should call it, get me the fuck out of here for a day, don't mean you don't love your peoples or whatever the fuck, everybody needs a break. The fucks need a break, bro. Just on the smallest shit these days. Yeah. Your child's a paraplegic. Your mom 
and can't move, they can't do anything for themselves, it, everything is on you, that is pressure. That's pressure. Your child born this way, that is a lifetime situation. And it ain't no motherfucking one day gonna make that shit better. But for that few eight hours, you can unwind. Or you can get a fucking hotel room, go downstairs, or get a masseuse sent to you, and you just wanna get some sleep. I just motherfucking wanna sleep all day. So a good ass meal, give me a steak dinner. And, 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 and can I do my shit at night? I got my sister over there today. I just want to go to a hotel, smoke my little weed, or drink my sip. Or if I don't do none of that shit, fuck that shit. I got my pack of cools. I'm being funny, bitch. And let me just go to fucking sleep. Wash my hair. Take a good fucking bath. Just exfoliate off your shit. <laughs> You know I'm going to get my package with it. Take this package with you. You know, and just just chill. You know? Fuck that shit. Like, fuck the kids and fuck mom today. I got to go do it. We all need a break. So that's that's, that's one of my community things that I'm I'm working on. Like, ASAP. It'll be happening before the network go up, I tell you that. So, you know... I just think it's just a good thing. Because we all got to, you know, got to realize that anything can happen like that. You can be in a car accident. Who going to look out for you if you get or you become a paraplegic? You ever thought of that? If you thought, you know, damn, if I'm in a car accident, who the fuck? I'm doing fine pumpkin. Who the fuck? How about, who the fuck is going to look after me? Who going to pay these bills? Who going to whatever? If you became fucked up like that. We don't think of things like that. No. We look at other people, we just be like, damn. But it could be you. You don't think of that shit. You're in a car with a friend. Y'all just going to 7-Eleven. You come back, you can't walk no more. Like, damn. I just went to the fucking 7-Eleven. Come back, I can't walk. It goes down just like that. That easy. Hey, Lexi and Jack. Yeah. No. So, we're going to look at a couple of little things. SHN. Man. I'm so mad, y'all. I got to delete a whole show. Let's start it on. This shit still hurt. I'm thinking about the money. <laughs> Fuck the bitch. <laughs> Just down the drain. Mm. Down the motherfucking drain. All because bitches start to get start to get jealous of each other. And when I seen it, I said, you know what? I got something for all this. Fuck everybody. Let's go. Over. And I meant that. <laughs> mm. And it would have been good. They was good um, actors and actresses. Really were. I cannot lie. But the behavior, I can't fuck with that on my shit. I'm not about that shit. Wanna do no destructive behavior, no wicked, crazy ass, busted ass bitch shit. We just not doing it. I'm about real shit, about real life, about giving opportunity. Um... <laughs> yeah, y'all so funny. Somebody would say black and white. If somebody asked me what's my favorite color of a house, it would be white. Favorite color of a car, it would be white. But my favorite color is black or red. Yeah. All right, let's do this. You know what? I got this apple, right? And I'm just like, how the fuck? It's like. My name Diamond. Um, this is the whole lot. <laughs> uh, oh, Kim Kardashian, motherfucking monkey ass. Did some hot shit. But her and Chris should be in fucking jail somewhere, bitch. 
If I ain't know no better, I think these bitches got dicks. Ah, look, hey. Chloe, you looking a little mannish over here. A little tall, little, looking a little mannish. You look like a little boy when you was a little girl, too, uh, with a bunch of hair. Uh, but then he come true, but did we see her pregnant? I don't recall seeing Chloe pregnant. What she look like? I don't even know. And let's say this. You got, just go to the bio, baby. That's why we tell the bitch, how you get on this page and you miss the bio? It should be the page. It's in the bio, honey. All right, now, let me break it down. Y'all ready for this gossip? Bitch, is you ready for this motherfucking shit? Honey. I'm going to sound like a Chinese bitch to life. Hard day. Let me see. Hold up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ball head. That's what we're going to call Chris. Oh, ball head. So. She's like a fucking pterodactyl with that haircut. I mean, like a whole ball eagle. But anyway. I'm like my hoes never did from day one, period. But anyway, Ball Head and her daughter did some hot shit they need to be in jail for right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And here are Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she said it. Out on mouth. Kim Kardashian, at the age of 16, went into the house that she resided with her parents. They found a secret room. And in this secret room was the suitcase and the evidence for uh, the case. She fucked with the evidence. Read it, touched it, when she wasn't supposed to be nowhere near it. Mm hmm Kim is a grown woman right now. Right now, she's a grown-ass woman. Watch she She ran to her mother for everything. Mm-hmm. Fix this, Mom. Look what just happened to us. So at 16, you don't think she went and showed her mom? Mm-hmm, hold on. Okay. Mm-mm. I don't even know nothing about that part. Watch this. I ain't finished. Hold up. Now you got this bitch on Vogue. Or is it you two? One of my fucking Sam. Oh, her, her dumbass mouth. This shit. I want to say so bad. You are one dumb bitch. To sit up there and admit that you found a secret room that your daddy kept OJ Simpson shit at. They was looking for the Louis Vuitton bag that had all the evidence in it. She said, oh, that bag? Oh, daddy just hid that bag in our room. It was in our room. It was in, it was in Chloe's room. The infamous bag that the world was looking for. Couldn't find it. Oh, okay. That contained what? Perhaps the gloves? That, and the knife and the what? Mm. But then I get information that O.J. Simpson lived with them when he came home from jail. But I saw a video that said, showed the mother saying she was scared of this man. Mm -hmm. Mm 